Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. Okay. So what we have, we have x. X is equal to C close interval 0, 1. It means set of all continuous functions on defined on close interval 0, 1. Suppose this is x axis, this is y axis. We have interval close interval 0, 1 and we can define any continuous function on close interval 0, 1. So x is a set of all such functions. They have mentioned it is a matrix space with this matrix D infinity. Okay. And D infinity is defined in this way. So let us try to understand what is a geometrical meaning of D infinity. Suppose this is continuous function which is defined on close interval 0, 1. This is another continuous function which is also defined on close interval 0, 1. Okay. So whatever the maximum distance between these two functions, okay, so that values, value is given by this D infinity f comma g. Uh, so this is a given matrix space and we have to prove that this sequence of function fn of t that is a Cauchy sequence. Okay, what is definition of Cauchy sequence? So d of xn comma xm less than epsilon. So this is the basic definition of Cauchy sequence. So here in this example, we will try to prove, we will try to prove d infinity since this is our matrix fn comma fn okay so this is the sequence of function fn so fn comma fm less than epsilon so this is our target we have to prove that distance is less than epsilon then we can declare yes that fn of t is a Cauchy sequence so let us start to work on it okay so you can easily guess first we need to take epsilon okay so let me take epsilon first late epsilon greater than 0 be given okay i have taken any arbitrary positive epsilon okay uh, so we have to prove d infinity fn comma fm less than in uh, epsilon right but before that i will uh, try to find the value of this mod so let us consider consider mod fn of t minus fm of t Okay, so what is our target? Our target is to prove d infinity fn fm. But as you can see in the definition of d infinity mod f of t minus g of t is required. So I'm going to find the value of this mod first, then we will go to d infinity. Let us put the values. What is fn of t? Let me write fn of t is this one nt upon n plus t minus fm of t at a place of n i should write m remaining part is same mt upon m plus t now what will i do i will cross multiply mod nt into this m plus t minus mt into this n plus t divided by n plus t into m plus t right mod complete Okay, so let us go further. Uh, I need to solve those brackets. Okay, I hope some terms will get cancelled to each other. Let us see. Mod nt into m. So that means m nt plus nt into this t nt square minus mt into n m nt minus plus minus minus mt square divided by nt into mt and sorry n plus t into m plus t so will you tell me what can we cancel here m and t minus m and t will get cancelled to each other that means two terms will be remaining nt square minus mt square we can take t square common so m minus n t square divided by n plus t m plus t as you can see here t is a positive real number since we have taken t from this close interval 0 1 that means we are adding some positive number to n and m so if you remove it that means if you reduce the value of denominator value of the actual value of this mod will get increased so this is less than or equal to let me write here this is less than or equal to mod m minus n t square upon m 
uh, n into m n into m let me repeat what i have done i have i am removing this t ready i am removing this t so that's why value will get reduced and if we uh, if we reduce the denominator value of actual value of this term will get increased so that's why i got this inequality less than or equal to right so this is equal to we can take separate separate mod mod m minus n upon n into m right mod t square but square is always non negative no need to write mod so let me write t square but basically see let me show here t belongs to close interval 0 1 that means 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 1 so obviously 0 less than or equal to t square also less than or equal to 1 so what i want to say this t square is less than or equal to 1 so we can easily replace it by 1 but i should add this inequality mod m minus n upon n into m now what will i do i will divide separately let us see what will happen m upon nm minus n upon nm okay so let me continue here m m will get cancelled 1 by n minus n n will get cancelled 1 by m okay so now if i take separate separate mod this type of inequality we get less than or equal to mod 1 by n plus mod 1 by m that means if you if we wish to separate the mod getting so you should replace minus by plus sign then only you will get this type of inequality but m and n both are natural numbers Th those numbers cannot be negative so that's why no need to apply mod so we can simply write 1 by n plus 1 by m this is so much important thing we have got okay just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let me write the conclusion here okay so what is our conclusion therefore therefore we started with mod fn of t minus fm of t and we got it is less than or equal to 1 by n plus 1 by m and this is true for all t belongs to close interval 0 1 okay this inequality is true for all t it means its supremum is also less than or equal to this fixed constant 1 by n plus 1 by m so that's why i can write supremum of mod fn of t minus fm of t uh, so here we are taking t from this close interval 0 1 so that supremum is also less than or equal to 1 by n plus 1 by m but did you notice one thing this supremum is nothing but the definition of d infinity so here we got the definition of this d infinity so that is nothing but d infinity fn comma fm just like this here we have written d infinity f comma g so at a place of f we have fn at a place of g we have fm so this is less than 1 by n less than or equal to 1 by n plus 1 by m getting or uh, this is uh, let me call it as one this is so much important thing okay uh, so this inequality we got now we have to find n natural number n okay which will work for the definition of Cauchy sequence I am going to use Archimedean property here let me write by Archimedean property Archimedean property Archimedean property we have already seen in our previous examples right uh, that property says that property says if you have any real number definitely you can find a natural number greater than that so here also i'm saying by archimedean property there exists some natural number n such that such that okay such that so uh, we have to find a natural number which is greater than given real number for that i need to do some rough calculation rough calculation okay so what will i do see 1 by n plus 1 by m okay this thing we have got right we have to prove it is less than epsilon uh, just for a minute i am replacing cap small n by capital n and small m by capital m uh, small m by capital n so this is equal to 2 by n right our target is to prove this is less than epsilon epsilon so it is enough to prove it is also less than epsilon let us interchange shifting epsilon here shifting capital n there so 2 by epsilon less than capital n okay so i am choosing that capital n such that 
2 by epsilon less than n. By doing this rough work, I got this one. Okay. Let us continue now. Now what will I do? I will interchange obviously. I am going to interchange. I am going to shift n here, epsilon there. So therefore, 2 by n less than epsilon. This is another important thing. I am calling it as 2. Right. So if you remember in a definition of Cauchy sequence, what we write at the end? Do you remember? At the end what we write? We write for all n m greater than or equal to capital N. That condition also we need to have. So let us consider that one. For n m greater than or equal to capital N. It means both n and m. Both m n m m greater than or equal to capital N. So n greater than or equal to capital N and m greater than or equal to capital N. Let us take reciprocals of both sides. Then what will happen? Inequality will get changed. If you take reciprocal, this type of inequality we will have. Okay. Yes. Let us add them. 1 by n adding left hand side 1 by n plus 1 by m less than or equal to 2 by n oh, sorry 1 by n plus 1 by n that is 2 by n since in both sides we have same capital N okay this is another thing so let me call it as 3 so let us uh, combine 1 2 and 3 from 1 2 and 3 d infinity fn fm okay we started with this one d infinity fn fm less than or equal to 1 by n plus 1 by m 1 by n plus 1 by m less than or equal to 2 by n and 2 by n less than epsilon so i can write this is less than epsilon what i want to say a less than b b less than c c less than d so that's why a less than d okay this type of thing i have done here i need to carry this condition for all n m greater than or equal to capital N. This is nothing but definition of Cauchy sequence. Okay, we got this is definition of Cauchy sequence. So we got Fn is a Cauchy sequence. Let me mention therefore Fn is Cauchy Fn is Cauchy in matrix space x d infinity. Okay, with matrix d infinity. So that's why we proved that given sequence Fn is a Cauchy sequence in a matrix space x d infinity. So we have completed this solution, make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you. We'll meet in next video.